Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be plugging in my free template of the month, which if you don't have this Canva template, link in the description, I make a brand new email template you can plug in each month. It's free, link in the description. We're gonna take this template and get it plugged into Klaviyo. So if you've kind of been wondering like, okay, I have this thing I designed, like what's the best way to get it plugged into an actual campaign send, then follow along. Quick disclaimer, there's gonna be two versions we're gonna create. The uh, aesthetic version that's following the exact design you see here and the more appropriate inbox friendly accessible design. There's two versions you can do. Which one should you pick? It's up to your brand. If you feel like your email is going in the spam inbox or you may have deliverability issues, you're going to go with the second option, which is the inbox friendly one. So I'm going to have timestamps below if you want to jump to that version and stick with how that is plugged in, you could do it that way. Um, but you'll, you'll see the differences, slight aesthetic differences. Basically one is using much more text blocks. The other one is just sticking to what we have here in our design. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and get a campaign started. Um, I'm gonna go into Klaviyo, create a campaign. And let's go in, I'm in my uh, little demo account here. Okay, I kind of have like a default, like, I mean, default, default, like there's nothing in here. Um, and we're going to just basically plug in the exact design that I have here. So the tricky thing here is that my design here is using a GIF. So I actually made this GIF in Canva already. So the best thing to do for this sequence is to go ahead and download your GIF separately. Okay, I have, so this is my GIF that I'd already created and then had plugged into my other design here. So I'm just gonna come up, um, I have everything set. I'm just gonna come over to share, download, and then drop it down as a GIF and hit download. In the meantime, I'm gonna come back to my other design and what I'm gonna do here is super simple. Like let's say you have everything plugged in and you're ready to go. You're gonna come over to, again, share, download, we're gonna select our actual designed page that we have here, and then we're gonna download it as a PNG. All right, I have my assets downloaded. We're gonna come back in, and this is the easy part. We're gonna drop in an image block and go ahead and drop in our full design here. All right, everything is basically plugged in like this, but we need to make some adjustments and some changes, okay? So first things first is we have our footer here, which ideally, I mean, you could not really, I mean, you could leave it like this and then hyperlink the unsubscribe, but that's just, just bad practice there. So we're gonna make a few changes to this, okay? So what we're gonna do is make a copy. So now you have two of these in here and then I'm gonna come over into edit, crop, and then I'm gonna crop in the sections into basically bite-sized chunks. So we have here our logo section. It's a bit hard to see, I'll zoom in. We have our logo here. I want to make that its own bite size chunk. Apply. And then we're going to click Save. So now this is broken out into its own piece. I'm going to copy this again. The reason I'm copying it is because I'm kind of having a full version that I could chop up again after uh, I chop up this next piece. So again, let's come into Edit, Crop, and let's crop our title here. All right, we now get into our GIF. So that one we're gonna upload separately. So go ahead and drop in your image block and we're gonna upload our GIF. Okay, so quick thing, my GIF is too large. If your GIF is too large, best thing to do is to go to something like easygif.com and optimize your GIF. So we just need to make it slightly smaller. So if you come over into, uh, actually we wanna come over into So if you come over here into optimize, I'm gonna drop in my GIF here, upload. It is going to compress it so that it is going to be able to fit inside of this email. And the reason you really, honestly, you wanna chop it up into pieces instead of leaving a giant, like let's say all of these are gonna be hyperlinked to the same exact spot, right? So it's like, why chop it up? The reason you should still chop it up though is because each of these pieces are a different file size. And if you're able to chop it into bite-sized pieces, when an email loads in for somebody, it's not gonna be as much of a, uh, a longer loading time if things are broken out into separate little pieces. So this ensures that basically you have 
pieces loading in one by one instead of one giant image, which is not great, okay? And also that means you can apply alt text to all of the different sections as well, which is really important. You want alt text, it helps inbox providers read your email, which again, like I said, we're gonna do a second version of this one that is more inbox friendly, which is very important. Um, but this is like the go-to, you don't have a problem with inbox deliverability. This is the kind of go-to one that you can do. And then lastly, let's chop our logo at the bottom, and then we will actually plug in the text at the bottom here. So your footer honestly should be its own thing anyways. You really shouldn't, you know, you don't have to add this in as an actual design um, piece each time, but normally you can keep this all one thing. So we're just gonna drop that in and pretend like that's the footer there. Okay, let's come over to our GIF and see if it's ready for download. All right, we have our optimized GIF. It's gonna be quite large. I actually want to pull this down into a smaller size so it matches more of what our original design had. Okay, so here we are with everything plugged in. Okay, so the main thing here, now that you have everything plugged in, is to make sure you go in and add alt text to everything. So Teletext, make sure everything is hyperlinked. This one's saying exactly what it has in here. Introducing our Easter collection. Do that, go through, plug everything in, okay? So that's gonna be the easiest way to plug in these designs. And now let's get into the more um, inbox safe, accessible way, which this, honestly, the second way I'm about to do this should be your default way. You should go this route, especially, like I said, if you're worried you have inbox placement issues, this gives you a better chance of landing in somebody's inbox. All right, I'm gonna make a um, B test version just so I can kind of edit this one and still keep the pieces together. So we're gonna come into this one and edit. Okay, so what this basically is gonna be is let's say you're plugging in these different sections you can do the same thing of chopping the pieces together, but everything that is a text or a button, we're gonna try and turn that into an actual element of the email. So what I mean by that is plugging in a text block like this. So we're gonna press center and say, you know, introducing our, and then let's make that, you know, as close as possible to what the text is below it. Right, and it's not gonna be exact. So this is where it kind of ties into, you know, what design did you actually, like when you go in and plug your branding, is it the branding that's in here? Does it match? So that that can kind of play into it looking different for sure. Um, but let's go ahead and bump that down to zero so it's a bit tighter. We'll leave the GIF for sure. Add in this text here. Um, let's go back into our design just so I can easily copy this. Paste it in. Let's make sure that is center. Whoops, too big. Let's go 22, maybe 20. And with these, you might have to come in and apply some more kind of padding on the side and whatnot to uh, pull things together. Again, it's not going to be exactly the same. Let's go in add a bit more padding there. You're kind of just trying to recreate the look as close as possible with actual text. Uh, let's go ahead and try to recreate this button as well. So let's grab my color grabber here. And let's make that. And we'll do shop now, but we're gonna make this light and make it a lot rounder and longer. And we'll delete that. So this piece here, this kind of section, you really aren't gonna be able to recreate it as an actual text block. So this would be where you'd have to kind of sacrifice that piece and not have it there. This piece we could definitely work with. It's gonna be a bit different, but we can try. So we're gonna end up going like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice this and we're gonna make it 300. Oh, even a little bit less. Apply, save. We're going to push that to the right. And like so. 
Oh, you know what we should do actually? We're gonna make it a new section so that way I can control the colors in it. So this is a bit more next level, but if you want to create this section to make it more accessible, then this would be the way to go about doing it. So we're gonna grab that color, add in a, let's turn off stacking for sure, add in a background color, there we go, and let's just duplicate that so I can keep some of the formatting. I'm gonna pull it down into here. Let's make this white. And then let's see, what did this say? Cheerful colors, spring is here. So we're gonna make a little one. Let's make that light and white. Right, and duplicate it, and then spring is here. And make that bold and larger, even larger than that. 30 potentially, 28, 26. You know what I might do? Let's go into making the image slightly smaller. Let's see, is that gonna be too small? That might work. It's a bit smaller than the original design, but that'll be fine. And let's make sure everything is centered like that. We just have to play with the padding here. Pull these two closer together. Make that five. And then pull this in down here. And we'll make this one white. And the text, that pink color. But we'll make this medium, a little bit darker. All right, so that is gonna be kind of recreating that piece, not exact as this one here, because this one's a bit more 50-50 with kind of controlling it, but as close as we can get it with it being actual text, okay? All right, so those are gonna be the two ways you would rebuild this email and plug it into an actual program. So first way is definitely the easier way. It's just cutting the design that you just made into bite-sized pieces or the more inbox safe way, which is going ahead and making actual text block pieces that help inboxes really read through your email and understand what's being delivered, which helps with your inbox placement. All right, I hope this was really helpful on how to take these Canva designs and plug them into Klaviyo, your email platform. In most cases, they're gonna be very similar as Klaviyo as far as plugging it in. But um, like I said, if you want this template, this is currently March's. So depending on when you see this, it may be, well, if it's a different month, it's definitely going to be a newer template. Uh, but check in the description. Uh, if you sign up for my newsletter, you get the new template each month, a Figma template and a Canva template. Um, so make sure you sign up if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.